Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back here at Young and Investing. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Quentin. And if you're new here, make sure to be subscribed to stay updated with everything crypto related. Also, if you think this video was interesting and helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that as well. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about crypto future trading so futures in crypto it is a big thing a lot of people are working with it but not a lot of people know how to do it responsibly and safely because there's a lot of videos out there here on youtube of people explaining how to trade futures but not how to do it in a responsible and safe way and that is what i want to focus on in this video so to explain you how to trade futures, but also how to do it in a safe and responsible way. And of course, the first thing that uh, comes to mind when talking about responsible and safe trading, that is to give you guys a good idea of uh, which exchanges you should use to trade crypto futures. So let's have a look here at CoinGecko. And we see that the two biggest exchanges in terms of uh, 24 hour open interest in crypto futures or derivatives in general are Binance and Bybit. Personally, I am using Bybit and I also recommend Bybit because it is the top exchange known for trading crypto futures. Very reliable, already exists for a long time. A lot of people are using it. Very legit company as well. Of course, Binance is a bit bigger in terms of open interest, but some people cannot even trade on Binance because of legal restrictions. So personally, this is the case for me. I live in Belgium uh, and Binance is not available here anymore. So personally, I am using Bybit, but you can use Binance, of course. I will include a referral link in the description down below and you get a nice discount on all your fees there because I'm still a partner of Binance as well. But I am also a partner of Bybit and I can offer you some really great stuff for uh, for signing up with my referral link that will also be in the description down below. So I will show you here on Twitter. So I partnered with Bybit uh, recently and the first 250 people who sign up with my referral link, again, it is in the description down below, they get a deposit bonus. This is not the only thing. So you can get a deposit bonus of $20. If you deposit $100 and if you deposit $300, you get $40. But this is only one of the two uh, promotions that we have. The other one is that you can get up to $30,000 in deposit rewards with Bybit. For that, you need to deposit $250,000. That is, of course, a lot and trade $150 million. But there is also like a smaller one here, as you can see. So you receive $100 uh, in bonuses if you deposit $3,000 and trade $6,000. This is only if you sign up with my exclusive referral link in the description down below. So if you want to sign up, you don't have an account yet, make sure this is filled out here under promo or referral code. So it is Quentin and then you can sign up and receive these cool promotions, but also chances for giveaways that we're going to do in the future. Uh, cool stuff that we're going to do in the future, me and Bybit together. So that out of the way, I'm going to sign into my Bybit account and then we're going to have a look at how it all works. All right, so now we are in the landing page of Bybit. So you can see that right here. This is when you sign up or you log into your Bybit account. This is what you see. Currently, they have another promotion going on, as you can see, like a trading competition um, where you can uh, win uh, $8 million in USDT in rewards. That is pretty crazy. You can win a Lamborghini or a Rolex, but uh, we're not going into, into that because it's a global thing. It's not only a promotion for me, but uh, they do cool trading competitions once in a while. This is what I want to say that, that compared to, for example, Binance, who doesn't do any uh, competitions or promotions whatsoever anymore. So Bybit for that is a good exchange or maybe even the better option in my opinion. Now, what you want to do first is of course, if you want to deposit something on your Bybit account, then this will, will arrive in your spot account. So you go to spot, as you can see right here, click on that. Uh, and then for example, you want to uh, deposit USDT because that is what you most of the times trade with. So you can deposit that here 
and then of course you know how that works not going to explain that into detail but if you deposit it, it will arrive in your spot account and you will not be able to trade with it so what you do is you click on transfer here and then you see spot to uh, funding you select this it's always standard on funding but you go to derivatives and then you do spot to derivatives usdt and then you can for example select all or just like one dollar whatever i already did this so i'm not going to show you how this uh, how this works i'm not going to click on confirm but i already have 400 usdt in my derivatives account so you can see that right here so 400 dollars is already ready to uh, trade with so what we do next is of course we go to the trading portal um, and you can do that by clicking here on derivatives and then you can choose what option you want you can choose usdc contracts usdc options etc but we're not going to focus on that because i think 95 percent of you guys maybe all of you guys want to choose this option right here the usdt perpetual because that is what is most of the times traded with so right now we are here in the, in the trading portal uh, first thing you see is the chart right here in the middle i want to show you some stuff with that because it's really handy to have trading view selected right here standard you can also do but trading view is more handy you can do like your technical analysis there i'm just going to show you this um, as a, as a bit of an example so you can um, maximize it right here and then we can do like a little technical analysis just very quickly so um, for example we're going to connect these lines right here um, and see what that brings us so uh, let's do it like this and you see there is some kind of um, descending uh, broadening wedge this is a pretty neutral um, pattern so this is not saying telling us a lot right now in my opinion i would not even trade this but um, this is what the pattern that we can see right now on the four hour chart if we look for a support level maybe this will uh, give us some more um, explanation or information so i would draw it right right here so this is kind of a support level it's pretty close to the support level so maybe we can even use this as um, the price that we want to execute or trade on so um, this is this is what the quick technical analysis of Bitcoin looks like. Of course, you can also select other uh, contracts here. If you go to BTC USDT, you see the different contracts here. Um, this is my favorites, um, but if you want to go to all of them, you can look for them right here. So they have a lot, a lot of options here on Bybit. So whatever you want to trade, you can simply type it in here. Uh, so let's say, for example, ADA, Cardano. Uh, you can also go to that one and then do the same thing. You can also uh, do like a technical analysis here. But let's go back to Bitcoin because that is, of course, the most standard uh, one of them all. So this is what it looks like. And I would say like, OK, we're going to do a limit order and do it on 29,000 more or less because this is a support level. And we might expect it to do something like this, um, like go towards 29,000, then do this and then break out upwards. So let's say that this is a scenario we have in mind that we want to trade this. So what we do is we go to this part right here of the trading portal. And we see first thing here is that we see tools. This is not very important right now. You can check it out if you want to, but most of you guys will never use this anyway. Um, but here you see cross and isolated. So if you click on cross, then you can also select isolated. And personally, I'm always using isolated because if you select cross, then all of your different positions will be liquidated at the same time because every margin that is in your account will be used so basically it will liquidate your entire account if something goes wrong in my opinion it's better to use isolated because then you select which amount of money you want to put in that trade and that is the maximum amount of money that you can lose so i always select isolated for trades that i do some people use cross and then add extra funding etc i don't do this but it's of course personal preference but i think risk management wise um because we're talking about trading safely and, and and responsibly then i would really recommend you to you to use isolated and you can never uh, lose your entire account if you select this now here is the leverage bar so you can go up to 100 leverage please never do this please don't even use 10x leverage it's still a lot um, to quickly explain you this if you use a 100x leverage 
if the price changes 1%, then your position is liquidated already. For 10x, this is 10%. So if you, for example, go long with a 10x, that means that if the price goes down with 10%, your position is liquidated. So personally, I'm always using between three and five X, sometimes even just like two X or something, but most of the times between three and five X. So let's do three, um, which is in my opinion, a pretty, pretty good leverage because then the price change need to be over 33% to liquidate your position. So let's do isolated 3%, click on confirm. And we see that it says isolated and three uh, X. Now we have different options right here to execute or trade with conditional that is i think not really relevant for most of uh, of you guys but market and limit is what you need to understand if you go to market then you can simply execute an order based on the order book so that is really possible to do that i most of the times personally use markets i don't most of the times use um, a limit order to be fair but if you want to execute an order on a certain level, let's say this level right here, 29,000, it's best to use like a limit order. But market basically means that you want to execute it uh, on the price that it is right now. So let's say 50% of our account, like from the $400, 50% of that uh, is what we want to buy with this position. Then we can go long or we can go short. Long, of course, means buy. Then we calculate on uh, or we, we, we hope to see a price increase short means that uh, the price would go down uh, and then you make profits as well so uh, personally i'm always going long <laughs> so um, i don't use sell i think it is against my values in crypto so i believe so hard in it i don't want to short it uh, and i think also in the grand scheme of things crypto is always going up of course with with the different cycles but the odds are always in your favor especially this time of the of, of the market and for example next year in 2024 etc so personally i'm most of the times just doing a long but this is market so you don't need to fill out a price that you want to execute the order with um, but you can do that if you want to like 50% of your position, 25, 75% of your position, 25, 10%, whatever. Uh, you can also do like 100% and then you see that the cost is uh, $400. The value is more or less times three because we used, of course, a three X leverage. Now, what I want to show you is limit here. So uh, we want to, for example, execute our order at 29,018 as we, um, here um, did our technical analysis with. Then we can say again, like 50% of my account value, again, more or less $200 is the cost of that. Um, that is what you want to select, um, or I want to select in this case. But of course you can choose, so you can also say like, okay, I want to do this, then you pay um, $116, maybe a little bit less still, like this more or less $100, then uh, it's your position size with this trade. So you can, mess around with that you can select a percentage you can manually type in how much you want and then do a buy or sell you can also do a take profit or stop loss of course it's not a bad thing to have a stop loss that means that if this is not playing out for example and something like this happens then you take um, a loss along the way because you think it will go down further so we can say like okay if it hits this price right here 28,800 then we think the price will go further down so once it hits this level we want our position to be sold and we just take the losses so for that you click on uh, trade prof take profit stop loss and here this is what you need if you go long you go uh, you do like a stop loss and you type in uh, 28,800 and then it says like okay your um your loss is only 2.2 percent um, of your return on investment so that's pretty important to know that so you can also do that with taking profits so you can say like okay once it hits 29,800 we want to take a bit of profit so you can type that in as well you can mess around with that we're not going into detail here but you can see like okay your your profits is then eight percent and your uh, stop loss we are going to do 28,800 is 2%. And then actually you have like a good uh, risk reward here of more or less four because you take your losses if it goes down to this level and then you have 2% loss 
or you take profits at this level and that is 8% uh, profit. So of course, this is a good trade in my opinion, something like this you should make. You can also do either of the two, so you just only the stop loss and not take profit or the other way around or not do that at all. It's your, up to you, but I think it's always wise to use a stop loss here. So just going to show you now um, how to do it. We're going to make like a limit order at 29,018 and we're going to do it with 50% uh, or let's say 25%, so more or less $100, 25% um, of our account of 400 USDT. And the only thing I want to do is um, a stop loss because I don't want to take the automatic profits because I want to reevaluate along the way. Um, but we're going to do like the stop loss here, uh, confirm that, and then just simply click on buy long. And then um, you can confirm that. It's going to give you like a summary of that. Um, your estimated liquidation price is 19,490. I don't expect this price to be ever seen again uh, this year in, in, uh, in crypto, so for Bitcoin, so I think that should be fine. Then we click on confirm and your order is actually submitted, but of course we did a limit order, so it will only be executed once it will hit this level right here. Just to show you, I'm also going to do a small uh, market order, 25% again, so 25%, a little bit more. Um, let's say again, $100, uh, so should be something like this. Okay, so here we go. So 0 0.011 Bitcoin is what we're going to buy now. So um, again, we're gonna do the, the, the stop loss here. That is going to be a little bit more, of course, because we are going to do market and not a limit order because the limit was lower. Uh, so the entry price would be lower. Right now, we're just like buying from the market. So here you can see the order books. Um, so you just buy from the market and then you click on buy long. The market is selected, isolated, 3x, and then we click on buy long and we will have like a position uh, immediately here, as you can see that. Now, the last thing I want to explain in this video is the funding rate. Um, this is just something that you guys should be aware of. So sometimes this funding rate is really high and you should know about that in that case because every eight hours, a funding is being paid from long positions to short position or the other way around. Right now, the funding rate is positive, so it's 0.01, which is pretty low. It's a very normal funding rate, and that means that every eight hours, 0.01% of your position, if you're long, will be paid to the people who are short, so to short positions. If the funding rate is negative, that means, for example, minus 0.01%, then it's the other way around. Then the short positions will pay a fee to the long positions every eight hours. But sometimes these funding rates are going really crazy. And then, for example, it depends, of course, on how many people are long and how many people are short, but you should simply be aware of that. But for example, sometimes it is 0.2%. And then that means that 0.2% of your position will be paid every eight hours to the short positions if you are long. So of course that means 0.6% every day. Um, and that of course, if you want to keep your position open for a long time, that adds up very, very quickly. So simply be aware of that. Always have a look at the funding rate if it is too high please be careful there as well because your account, um, there will be like more and more of your, uh, of your position will be transferred to the other side of, uh, of the contract. In this case, for example, short, uh, short people, short people. In this case, the short positions if you are long. All right, guys, that is actually it for the video. Again, if you want to sign up to Bybit and enjoy the promotions that we have and the giveaways that we will do in the future, there is a referral link in the description down below. Please join my affiliate team. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure to be subscribed. And I see you next video. Cheers, bye-bye.